Party people, you already know what time it is. It's time for Girls Need Love Tuesdays. I can sing, I know that. All right. How 
y'all doing on this lovely Tuesday? Do me a favor. Make sure y'all share this live because we have a full show ahead of us tonight. We're going to do some follow-ups with some matches that I made. And then we're also going to get into some new single folks, okay? Because the love doctor don't start. Don't stop, all right? Y'all learned a few new tricks. Big up some of my nigga DJ Excel for showing me how to do that. You know what I'm saying? That was real cute. Wasn't a little intro, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we're going to get into our... Follow-ups, you know, I made some matches last week. I matched up uh, DJ Ace and Alicia, and I matched up Chris and Melanin, okay? So, we're going to go ahead and just do a quick little follow-up and see how it's going or not going, okay? Where are you trying hey, to get girl. me over here? Hi. How you doing? Yeah, sleepy. God bless you. You sleepy? Yeah, I'm about to get it. Get settled in the house. Okay, you look real peaceful, though. You look, like, real at peace. Like, I am. I really am. I'm, I got company over, so I came okay. outside, so I wouldn't, I'm gonna you know, be all loud. I ain't going to keep you long. I'm going to get you back to your No, he good, no. Okay, so we matched you up with Chris. I'm just going to ask you three short, simple questions, okay? So, okay. first question, what was your first impression of your match? Um, Chris is cool. She's funny as fuck. Um... Yeah, so that's my, my first impression was she funny as hell. She's funny. She fine. She too. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, have you all been communicating since the show? Uh, yes, we've been texting on Instagram mostly. She ain't asked for my number, so I ain't give it, you know. But, um, Chris, I said you want to do this. Yeah. So we just been talking on Instagram, but she cool. Okay. Huh? So why why you ain't ask for her number though? Why why? Because you know, um, I'm not the typical lesbian that just be going straight into it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I wanted to just take it slow. We know you hot lovers over here. Let them know. Yeah, period. All right, all right, all right. So do you see any potential with the two of you? Um, I do to a certain extent. I can see most, yeah, I can see mostly a friendship too, but you know, okay. I'm, open, I'm open to other shit too. Um, okay. It just depends on what she wants, you know. Like, well, that's where it starts with anyway. You know what I mean? It starts yeah. with friendship. Yeah. So, but, but she's need, definitely. I need y'all exchange phone numbers. I know. I tell her to ask me. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm you nervous? Yeah. Oh, no, don't be nervous. I'm about to get on her ass like back pockets. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to follow up with her. Thank you for checking in. I'm going to holler at y'all later on this week with the next stats. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, baby. All right, I got some faith in that. Right, Tavia, you see it? You see it? You see it? Chris, get your ass on here. Get your ass in my room right now. You in trouble, Chris. How the hell you ain't asked the guard for a damn phone number yet? It's been a whole week. Get on here, Chris. Hello, Christina. Y'all can see me? We can see the ceiling. Oh, hold on. What you naked? Y'all can see me now? I can see your ceiling. Let me bring it down a little more. Burn. What, you ain't got no clothes on now? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's up? I ain't know if I was going to show my face at first. Yeah, show your face, girl. What's up? How you doing? How you feeling? Oh, well, since you asked, I'm just tired. Just tired. <laughs> I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. What's going on? Girls need love. What's up? Yeah. What's up? We, we, had three, look, we had three short questions. All right, so we just heard from your match, Melanin, so we want to hear from you, your side. We did? Yeah, oh, yeah. So what was your first impression of your match? My first impression was she was thick. I had okay. Instagram and stuff. She was thick as hell. I had seen that on there. Okay. That's it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bitch. Okay, so uh, she said, but, oh, go ahead. <laughs> oh, but no, she re she had reached out to me and everything. She was really sweet and nice, so. Thick and sweet. Thick and sweet. I do not Thick like. and sweet. Okay, <laughs> so um, y'all been communicating, but you haven't asked for her phone numbers. So Man, okay, so look, I was going to say that because I seen everybody was on here talking about something. You ain't asked for her number, this and that. My, What's up? Get, my number be changing all the time. My number be changing every 30 minutes. That's why I have to be real careful. I don't be exchanging numbers with people and stuff. But I will be honest with you. I do feel like we just got to get to know each other a little bit more because I have, um, unfortunately, I, I got a bad attention span. So uh -huh. even sometimes with messaging people or texting people or talking to people, I'm not really great at that. 
and okay. she did give me her number and I haven't used it and I'm sorry. I've been yeah. I'm, I've been okay. fucking I said, you know, when I said I said, I said when I get on here, I got to do better. You got to do better. I got to do better. Got to do better. I, I told okay. myself what you told me. Yeah, I, and as long as you agree, that's all that's all it takes from me, okay? Now, do you see any potential amongst the two of you? I have to keep conversing with her. So I'm okay. going to use the number like I was supposed to use the number. Okay. Right? And yep. keep conversing with her and see where it go from there. Because I feel like it is a little bit on me. I've been a little bit. But I've been a little sidetracked with a few different things going on in the week anyway. So okay. no excuse. But mm -hmm. if she did give me her number, I'm going to use it. Hit her up, see what's up. And then. So, so now like you're saying, you did, so now you're saying she didn't give you her number? She, she messaged me her number, I believe. Oh, you believe? Girl, you talking in circles. You talking in circles, Chris. No, I'm saying, no, 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 no. I said she sent me her number and I haven't used it. And you asked me where do I see the potential. I'm saying is get. I need to be able to get to know her a little more. I'm you might want to read these comments because uh, you need to read these comments. What did I say? Say? What did I say? What did I lie about? Ass. They I on your ass. Y'all were listening. Y'all was listening. Y'all ugly. Well, look. Take, get a number, you know, I think I got potential. Now, y'all both live in Atlanta now. Are you still doing quarantine right now? Are you still self-quarantined? Because I want y'all to meet in person. I'm not self-quarantining, but that was something else, too, because, like, you know, I was chit-chatting where I had a little get-together and stuff, but that was with my friends and people I know, and, you know, yeah. I don't know what everybody, you know, got going on with the quarantine. Plus, I haven't been able to meet her personally. So, okay. if she cool and down with hanging out, and now that the world is back open, I feel like the world is open now, I'm down I'm going to pay for a date for y'all, okay? So that's y'all next step. I'm gonna take y'all well. on the date. It ain't gonna be I don't no cheap date. Eat processed food. It ain't gonna be no cheap date. Okay. <laughs> it ain't gonna be no cheap date. <laughs> but I got you. All right. Thank you for joining in. I'm gonna uh, follow up with you later this week. And you read, right, read these right. comments because they they on your ass. Oh, what y'all motherfucking play? They made it's the fade. All right, bro. I'm right back. All right, y'all. Woo wee. She said a whole lot, a lot, a lot, a whole lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I'm not going to get on no cheap date because, first of all, if you – they need at least – what they need, babe? At least, what, 100, 150 for the date? Because our dates be adding up. You know what I mean? Our dates really add up. But it really depends. We'll get on private chefs. I feel like you should find out their type of energy first. What if, you know, We're going to sit them down and figure out their energy. A night out is good for them. They feel Alicia, like not a Chick-fil-A date. <laughs> I can't balance, babes. All right, up next, we got Alicia. We're going to follow up with her. Hey, Chipotle, y'all better cut it out because Chipotle is not a cheap date, okay? <laughs> I like Chipotle. Alicia, where you at? Join the lobby. Hey, I ain't going to lie. That's so cap. I'm not getting on no private chef. Private chef going to be me. They going to pull up and going to see me. What up, bitch? What's up, bitch? I'm cooking, bitch. You cooking? What you cooking tonight? What you cooking tonight? Oh, my bad, sir. You got that jacket ass Wi-Fi. What's up? <laughs> Look, leave me alone. I'm trying to get off the Wi-Fi because it's bit. Not... You got that I'm Teddy Riley. Can you hear me? You got that Teddy Riley Wi-Fi. Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Okay. Okay. So I'm not. Yeah, I, ain't got, with, uh... I just got a phone call. Okay, your line hotline blinging. So I messed you up with DJ Ace. So what was your first impression? It wasn't for me. Okay. She was cute, just not um, like not for me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Right. Now what what was it about her that wasn't for you? Um she was shorter than me. Um let me okay. step back. I feel like I'm cut off. Um yeah. yeah, your head, your head cut out. Yeah. Hey. Um, yeah, <laughs> it just I don't know, like with me, I kinda like I like that like instant kind of um what is it? Uh like that instant uh attraction. If I don't yeah. get that, it ain't gonna go nowhere for me. And then like okay. when we kinda talked, she kinda like messed up and said like she messaged when she texted me and was like, um, did anybody say anything? as to, like, why you shouldn't talk to me or something. And I was like, that's weird. So Very weird. <laughs> it was kind of weird. So I was just like, I'm just, um, I tried it for, like, a, I tried to text her for, like, a day. But it's like, if you don't grasp my attention, so it's just kind of like, 
it just didn't work for me so you know what before i wasn't asking people height so a star was actually in the bunch where i didn't ask their height so that's that's my bad you know and I don't, okay. I, don't, I don't know how tall she is honestly you know it's okay. so, but uh she kind of made a bad on herself too from what it's, it's sounding like you know what i mean we need to get her on here well um so y'all was talking for about a day and then it was like mm. yeah because like um you know, I'm very, like, you know, um, blunt, but I don't, like, I yeah. try not to be rude, and, like, you know, she asked me if I wanted to go on a date, and I, like, politely declined. I was Ooh. just, like, you know, well, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm not, you don't like free not food? I do, but I don't want to be one of them people that, you know, just go out there for the free food, and that just be it, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I've done that before, like, you go eat, and then it's like, all right. You're better than me. <laughs> Never gonna talk anymore. But it's just, like, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I, I if it, if, it's a, uh, if the attraction is not there, then I feel like sometimes I can come off as rude or I'm kind of like, mm, yeah. yeah. So it just it wasn't there for me. But like I said, she's a cute girl, just not my type. They said Capricorn's picky. Look, very. <laughs> All right, so no potential. I'm gonna give y'all no potential. It's, it may be a friendship, maybe. That's why I good. definitely said I, I definitely asked her if we could be friends. But like I don't know. I, I kind of got like at first. Since I said no to the date, I kind of felt like she's kind of like, well, bitch, fuck you. And I'm like, yeah. oh. so yeah, I can't believe you shot her down. Right. I, I don't well, know. I, I, I respect you for not using her. You know what I mean? Now, I actually do have somebody else second in mind for you, so I'm not going to give up on you yet. All right. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs> <laughs> God bless you. Have a good night with your uh, food there. I'm going to go ahead and try to find Ace. All right. Okay, boo. See you later. All right. Well, we are one for two. That's a 50% in my books. That's a motherfucking uh, win for me, okay? As I stated in the contract, in the guidelines, it said uh, no matches are guaranteed. That's in very small fine print at the very bottom of the show. So, you know, if you didn't read that part, that's not on me. It's like, no, nah, I'm joking. <laughs> All right, so let's get into our new women, okay? Because I got four single women that we're going to be introducing here tonight. Now, the first, I don't see her, so we already know that maybe she's a, a person who's late and whatnot. Where is Travi at? If anybody has Travi number, call Travi and tell her I'm looking for her because she was supposed to be first, okay? Now, if she's not going to go first, I'm going to have to go on to the next person. China, you ready? We're going to start. <laughs> not match me with SZA. All right, we're going to get, um, first of all, y'all are being funny as hell in these comments. We're going to start with China because I see her on here. Somebody called Travi, though, and tell her to um, to get on the live. Light-skinned people ain't never on time. And see, that's why we got a bad reputation now, man. China, you ready? Join the live, shawty. Don't be getting cold feet now. Cold, cold, cold feet. Nah, 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 nah. Hey now. Hi. Hello, can you hear me? How I you can doing? hear you. I'm fine. How are All you? Right, everybody. Welcome China to the show. All right. So I got your bio up here. Thank you for being a contestant on our show this evening. I got your bio up. We're going to start there. We're going to learn a little bit about you. Then I'm going to ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. All right. So name is China. You are 30 years old, 5'2". You were born and raised, still reside in Atlanta. You are a Sagittarius. <laughs> uh, currently, your occupation is a medical assistant. Thank you for your sacrifice that you're making during this time. Thank you so much. Um, you identify as a film. As far as what you're looking for, you say, I have no preference. I've dated studs all my life. I want to try something different, period. Okay, because, you know, studs be acting crazy sometimes, right? You said, uh, I'm a vegetarian. Shout out to you. You have a 14-year-old daughter currently working for COVID-19, co currently waiting for COVID-19 to be over so you can start your new RN degree. Your home body and a hopeless romantic, looking for someone with ambition, drive, someone who's a family person because I have a big family, someone who's not going to take everything I say to heart, very important, because I speak my mind, very blunt, I love it. I just want someone who's going to love me, flaws and all. 
That's you, Miss China? <laughs> yes, that is me. Is that you, Miss China? Okay, so let's get right on into it. First question I like to ask all of my contestants why are you single? I am single because I fell in love at a very young age and um, she broke my heart terribly. And uh, it took me a long time to get over it. So, yeah. She okay. uh, fucked with a close friend. So, uh, that broke Ooh. my heart. I'm sorry. Yeah, so. Okay. Got your heart broken. I'm sorry about that. And how long have you been single? Seven years. Okay, and that was the last person. Oh, okay. wow. That I've wow. dealt with other people, but far as relationships, she's the last person I've been in a that relationship is. with. Okay, that's a long time. You, okay, sometimes you need that time to bounce back and get in tune with yourself. So I'm not even mad at that, okay? <laughs> and the reason for your recent breakup was because you said she cheated on you with a friend, or did she cheat on you, or was it like... Yeah, she cheated on me and denied it okay. to my face. Wow. That's not a good look. All right, um... So physically and mentally, what type of person are you looking to date? What would be your ideal person, physically and mentally? Mentally, physically, I don't have a type. I'm all open. I'm a big girl. I'm not the smallest girl there is. Okay. So I don't have no preference. As long as you can handle me, I'm cool with that. Okay. Physically, like I said, you got to be able to deal with me. I am very blunt. I speak my mind. Sometimes you may take it as rude, but I'm not yeah. being mean. That's just me. I've always been like that. And I can't be that nice person no more because that nice person got me used and abused a couple years back. So that nice yeah. person is long gone. So, Right. Yeah. You don't want no love. You don't want nobody who's soft. You know what I'm no, saying? Uh-uh. I can't deal with a soft girl. I feel you. I feel you. All right. So what do you value most in a relationship? Trash. Okay. I hate a liar. Once you lie to me, I deny everything that comes out your mouth. I feel you. Period. All right. Um, how would your ex describe you? Mm. How would she describe me? Mm-hmm. That's hard to say. I ain't seen her in so long. Yeah. And the person that I was when we were dating, I'm two different people, so I don't know what she would say. Honestly, I can't tell you. Okay. That's fair. Uh, let's see here. Describe yourself in one word. Outspoken. Okay, you keep saying that. You like, I'm blunt. <laughs> I'm outspoken. I, I am. I'm, so, I, I'm very outspoken, and that's <laughs> reason why I'm single now, because, uh, and I learn how to uh, sometimes be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we okay. All right. Um, are you lesbian, bisexual? I'm lesbian. Lesbian. Okay, lesbiana. Let's get it. All right. Do you believe in marriage? Or do you want to get married? I do. I do believe in marriage. And yes, I do want to get married one day. Okay. 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 Do you? Uh, you have kids. You have one child. You said right? Yes. Okay, do you want more? I do, eventually. Okay. Now, do you, do you find yourself having issues with finding people who can accept the fact that you have a child? Um, It's not the fact that they can't accept that I have a child. It's the fact they can't accept the type of boundaries that I have when it comes to my daughter. Like, it's certain things that I don't do around her and certain things that I don't allow. It's a lot that I don't allow around her. Like, um... It's only one person she's actually the one that the person that I was in a relationship for a long time ago. That's the only person she's ever lived in a household with. So I'm not too open with bringing people around my ho child or around my house. So, you know, they might feel like, oh, well, you don't trust me around your child. It's not that. It's just, I don't want to, if, if you're not going to be in my life for a long period of time, I don't want you around her. I don't need to feel like comfortable that she needs to meet, meet you. So, you know, a lot of people take that the wrong way. I feel you. I feel you 100%. All right. Now, is sex important in a relationship? Yes, that is very important. Oh, okay, China. <laughs> sex is important. So, say if you have uh, met someone, they have everything that you look for in the person, but the sex is whack. You staying or you leaving? I'm leaving. I'm going to try. Damn. I'm tr I did it before. I, I tried. <laughs> I was dating this girl. 
for maybe about four months. Yeah. She just wasn't getting there. She was older than me, so it's like, why I got to teach you something yeah, yeah. I already know? So I'm leaving. I'm sorry. I'm out. Okay. I respect that. Hey, honesty is the best way to go. Uh, have you ever cheated? No. Never cheated. That's what's up. Little angel. Um, which of your person? I already know what you're probably going to say. But which of your personality traits, if any, would you change if you had to pick? Me being too outspoken. <laughs> I just gonna say that, girl. I already know your ass, girl. <laughs> I already know y'all that. All right. Uh, what do you do in your free time? Oh, enjoy my daughter. You know, she's fourteen. Right. She's changing every day. Yes, my little brother fourteen, and he be acting crazy. Okay, he be acting crazy. All right. So, uh, do you drink? Do you smoke? I don't smoke, but I do drink. Okay. So can your partner smoke? Yes. Okay. Like cigarettes? I don't do cigarettes. No, I got asthma. I've been asthmatic since birth. So you don't smoke cigarettes, just smoke on my side. Fine. Not no, not no ciggies, okay? <laughs> not no ciggies. <laughs> All right. Uh, what are some of your pet peeves? Liars. Mm-hmm. I hate a person that's not clean. I hate a nasty Ooh. woman. I hate oh, a nasty woman. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, I hate a woman that doesn't have ambition. Like, if you, I'm sorry, I ain't always been together. I'm mm-hmm. not gonna knock it, but at least I try to get myself together. Like, if you can't say that, if I'm with you, we've been talking for two, three months, and you've been saying, "Hey, I want to do this. I want to do this." I'm going to push you to try to do it. If I keep saying you're not going to do it, yeah, it's kind of a turn off. It's like, don't keep saying you're going to do something to do it. It's just always be louder than words. Mm-hmm. So. Okay. I respect that. Uh, what's one of your biggest goals in life? Having my daughter. That's one of my biggest goals. I mean, I'm sorry. Like, I mean, no, no, no. As far sorry. as like being becoming an RN, that's one of my biggest goals. My best. Becoming an RN, you said? Yes. Okay. All right. That's what's up. All right. Uh, what is your favorite movie? Everything, everything. Who? Everything, everything. What is that? If you have not seen it, you have to watch it. Everything, everything? Yes. Girl, I ain't never seen that. I think you made that one up. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> I ain't never. <laughs> I ain't I never seen everything, everything. <laughs> look it up. I'm telling you. I'm I'm gonna look it up movie. after this, for sure. What's your favorite type of mu- uh, music? Army, all day. Okay. Big vibes. That's mine, too. Uh, what would constitute as a perfect date for you? Um, perfect date. A picnic vibe, you know. Picnic vibe. Like I don't do outdoors as much, but you know, something simple, not too dramatic, you know. Okay. Sounds simple and cute and thoughtful. Yes. Okay. Okay. Do you believe in love at first sight? I do. Okay. Yes, to love at first sight. All right, and what last question is, what does the word love mean to you? Love to me is patience. That's what love is to me. Like, it doesn't rush you. Love is not rushed, you know. It takes its time. Whenever it happens, it happens. That's what love is to me, is patience. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so I get everything I need right here. So the next step is I'm going to try to find you a match based off what I learned about you. Now, you don't have any last say-so because the one thing I'm noticing about everybody is everybody loves saying, I don't have a type. And then when they get matched, they be like, oh, she ain't my type, okay? So any last remarks you want to leave about the person I should be trying to find for you? No, I'm 5'2", so, you know, maybe somebody that's taller than me. No. Okay, they someone taller. Five, eight. Five, three, five, four. You know, I can do that. Okay. That tall. Okay. Say less. All right, everybody. Well, y'all make some noise one more time for China. Thank you so much for making time for us. <laughs>
All right. I'm going to follow up with you tomorrow. All right. Have a nice night. All right. Come on, babe. Hey, Jay. Hey, Jay. Hey, it's Travi ready, huh? All right. It's Travi ready. All right. First of all, can y'all just be nice in the comments? I'm not about to keep saying this every Tuesday. Y'all going to ruin this because I'm not the type of person that like, that, like, putting people in positions where they're going to feel bad about themselves. If somebody's in their car, clearly they just got off of work. Okay? Don't be talking about nobody house look like they ain't what we here for. Okay? It's simply something to come together and have fun. Y'all are being way to trolling in these comments, okay? Y'all are gonna ruin this for everybody. I'm not about to do that. Good vibes on. Let them know, baby, period. <laughs> My baby wanna be on the show today to uh, to talk. Uh, so, um, well, if you can't, well, who is this? Tell them, Jones. Just keep certain things to yourself because, like I said, this is my platform and I don't want no negativity on it. So either respect it or you can lead a live. And I mean that respectfully, period. Bree Trill, fight me, period. Say that, I love you, Bree Trill. All right, Travi, it's your turn. Hey, period. you in your car. Look, everybody talking about people being in their car and look at you in your car, too. Man. <laughs> my, look at my car, though. That's why I'm in okay, my car. Okay, let them know. <laughs> Let them know. Let them know. You feel me? Everybody welcome to the show. You look cute, man. Thank you. Okay, I got your little bio up. Yeah, your hair getting long and shit like that. Got the car, okay. You better find you a boo. Oh, you know? Oh, my bad. My bad. <laughs> my fault, Phil. My fault. All right, so I'm about to go over your little bio here. If I can find a damn bio. All right, so we got you. First of all, you are not five six. I am five six. Swear to God, you are not five six because I'm five three and you like the same. No, nigga, I'm way taller than you. Yo, short ass. You, you like know. five four? No, I'm not. Juice five four. That's five four. All right, next time I see you, we are gonna do it on the thing, on them, on each other. I'm gonna know. Do all it. right, so name Travi, age twenty six. You say you five six. You live in ATL. You were born in Mississippi. You a goddamn Aquarius gang. Miss Zip. Hey, gang, gang. Y'all hey, feel me? Clothing designer. Yep. You identify as a stud. You're looking for a film. Uh, you say you're looking for a driven, down to earth, funny kind into learning you, learning new things, teachable and teacher, caring and already knows how to love. That's such an Aquarius ass. She's not bi. Who said you bi? You bi? Right. Hey, who said that? Somebody said you bad. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. I just read something in the comments. He <laughs> was not bad. Talking to else. Oh, okay, got it. <laughs> That's like with somebody else that I'm giving Android vibes. <laughs> right. Y'all can't so, see me? Hold up. Y'all can't see me? It's a little it's a little jagged edge. <laughs> Hold on, let me get in the house again. Let me get some wife right on. Okay. See me now? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can see you. All right. Y'all can see you. All right. All right. So the first question that I like to ask everybody is, why are you saying? Cut he hoes for the streets. That <laughs> why. Nah, but for real, man. Oh, we. Now, what does that mean? I ain't find nobody to really just match my match my vibe, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm a vibe for motherfucker. I just want somebody chill. You know, girls I be talking to doing okay. too much. You know what I'm saying? Need some chillness. I'm a chill <laughs> All right, so what's some things like that that you would describe as like doing too much? Like, let me sit down for a second. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's a lot of whole list. Doing too much for me is like, man, like you you don't gotta be known. You ain't gotta be seen. You know what I'm saying? All the time. Yeah, you know I'm saying because people know who I am. I don't need people to know who my bitch is. Too. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So I just, I need her to be. You know, chill, my chill, my low key. Yes, low okay. key. Cause I'm too high key. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you funny as hell. All right. And how long <laughs> have you been single? Three years. Three years. Three. Okay. And what was the reason for your most recent breakup? Uh, she's a cheater and a liar. Yeah. So that's usually how it goes. They lie, then they cheat, 
And then they lie about cheating. So. <laughs> Got trust issues. <laughs> Who? Oh, All right. And, uh, all right. So physically, physically and mentally, describe the type of person you're looking to date. All right. Physically, I want somebody shorter than me. You know what I'm saying? I don't really want no light skin for real because light skin get crazy. You know what I'm saying? I really think my soul make brown skin, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to tell you. And, um, shit. What else? What was the other question? What? Physically and mentally. Huh? Describe them uh, physically and mentally. Oh, and mentally, man, I just want somebody that's, you know what I'm saying, driven, work hard, you know what I'm saying, and got a goal. Got some type of value about herself, you know what I'm saying? Most of these girls, I be, they ain't got no value, man, no, no morals, nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? My grandma raised me, so we need some morals, some value about okay. yourself. You know, okay, so. okay, value. You know. <laughs> yes. All right, uh, what do you value most in a relationship? Uh, Trust, communication. I value communication, I think, the most. Because without that, we ain't got nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a, rhyme, a mind reader, and I ain't finna try to read your mind. You know what I'm saying? So you need to tell okay. me what's up. So, you know what I'm saying? So shit don't be, you know what I'm saying, prolonged. If it's a problem, okay. let's talk about it. Okay? I think you might some of your exes in the comments, man, because they like, they like, they going in. I think you might have some of your exes in the comments. We gonna hit them up. Man, Tavia, let me tell you something, man. Tavia is a hater, okay? She just okay. mad. Cause you cheated on me with our fucking lawyer. Fuck her. <laughs> Fuck Tommy, black ass. Oh, All right. How would your I so I know you said your ex cheated and, and, and was a liar. All right, but how would your ex describe you? The uh, perfect nigga. <laughs> nah, your ex nah, 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 perfect. Now she used to say she like, you know, she used to say she like, I, I don't really care about a lot of stuff. Like I'll brush it off. I I worked on it. I'm working on it though. You know what I'm saying? Cause now I'm kind of like What's not important to me, you know what I'm saying, might be important to somebody else. So I can't just always go off of it. It's an Aquarius thing, too. We always think we nice. fucking right. That's so, facts. You know, I'm learning how to, you know. That's facts. Understand. It takes time. You know, you got to learn how to yeah. deal with the Aquarius within ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Because we great people. Nope. And right. we actually are fucking perfect. You know what I mean? We just got to Perfect, I mean, basically. You know what I'm saying? Perfect. So right. if you could describe yourself in one word, what would it be? Cool. Okay. Cool beans. Cool could be a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a cool ass nigga, bro. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, do you believe in marriage? Do you want to get married? Hell no. Because if we gotta break up, that's more money. We could just be together. <laughs> we just can be okay. together, family. I gotta get no, I need no ring and no paper for that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we all right. No marriage. All right. So, do you want kids? No, I got knowledge to play. I think I want one, but I want to carry it though. I want to carry my carry own kids. Kid. Yeah, yeah. I want that motherfucker to look like me. Cause if okay. mom's trying to leave, she ain't taking my kid. It might. Okay. So you know. I gave birth to this one. Okay. Me. I am so. Um, is sex important in a relationship? Sex ain't important to me, man, but when it get down to it, she better be good at it. That's all. It okay. ain't important, though. I ain't no sexual, <laughs> sexual motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? But, you know. I really got to be attracted to you anyway. Fuck. Love you. To get really. to your point. Fuck you. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, <laughs> Have you ever cheated? No. Promise. Again. Did you hear the did you hear the question? You said have you ever so, cheated? No, no you... nigga, I ain't, I ain't no cheater. I don't even cheat in the game. Your whole life. I ain't no cheater. And your whole entire life you've never cheated. I swear to God, I ain't never cheated on nobody in my whole life. I promise. I promise I ain't okay. never cheated. I promise. Have you ever, <laughs> do you know the type of cheating? Like emotionally cheating? Yeah. Like, so you've never emotionally cheated on anyone? What do you that mean? Like, flirtatious with someone oh, hell outside no. your no, relationship I'm, I'm not even or a type of person. giving them the value of time or even giving someone nope, value of time. because I spend all my time with my... No, I spend all my value and time with my... Yeah, if the woman say, if the woman you know? say she, I'm she, 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 she
Hey, I'm what? Making sure she knew the difference. One thing I know about Aquarius, we don't cheat. So <laughs> I actually do believe Girl, what? what you said, okay? You might I, not cheat on me. I don't cheat, Aquarius. <laughs> All right, so which of your personality traits, if any, would you change if you had to say? Maybe uh, how I go off real quick. That probably changed that about myself. Okay. I do be going off. Yeah, yeah she be going to fucking end. <laughs> sorry. That's a I'm sorry. sorry. Just like a little light scale. <laughs> light scale. All right. What? I'm All sorry, right. bro. Uh, what do you do in your free time? What you do? What do you do in your uh, free time? I draw. Do my Fresh. clothes. Okay. You good? Talented. You good? Yeah, I had allergies yeah. earlier. And Girl, oh. get the, get the party, man. Where is your face? Where is your face, man? Girl, don't play with me. We live together. All right. Um, I know you smoke. You drink. I smoke a lot of weed. Yes. Yeah. Yo, your partner's about to smoke and drink. Um, I don't really like drunk people. <laughs> no, I'd rather her smoke if she do. I mean, if you drink, cool, okay. that's cool. I but she can't just be like on oh, no drunk shit, like all drunk. the time. Yeah, no, nah, I can't drunk. Do yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't do that messy shit, not that messy drunk shit. Uh, what are some of your pet peeves? Mm -mm. Dick girl said I smoke crack too. <laughs> Brie a pet peeve. Huh? That's one right there. Right, I'm cracking up. <laughs> What are some of your pet peeves? Pet peeve, um, lying. Don't lie, don't lie, because I tell the truth a lot. <laughs> don't lie to me. And if I ask you a question, I probably already know the answer. So just tell the truth. <laughs> That's probably my pet peeve, bro. Uh oh, and another thing, a nigga that don't do what they say they gonna do. Okay. I hate that. I hate that. But that's it. That's it. That's it. Real chill, like I, you know. I let a lot of shit get away. Okay, yeah. I feel you. Uh, what's one of your biggest goals that you want to accomplish in life? Well, one was to, well, I already, I graduated, but it was for my granddaddy just to let him see me um, walk the stage, but unfortunately he passed away. That oh, was man, one goal in that. life. Nah, Congratulations, though. Congrats on that, though, You know what I'm saying? That's real. Success you know, got my you. master's degree. Facts. Yeah. Facts. That's what's up. Okay. Um, and, and, and I, man, I just really want to, like, own my own, like, shop, you know, where you can come get your shoes done, get your, get your outfit, match your damn shoes, your hat, whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? That's really, that's really a goal. So, All right, yeah. so after right. this, after this. Oh, we ain't doing all no, that. Boss Britt, we about to help you, you know, open it. Girl, I know her. Do you plan? <laughs> she can help open it. She don't know I know you. She don't want to let you know, but we can help you. Okay? It's okay. She don't know. Okay, I'm about to get right. two. Thank you. All right, what would constitute as a perfect date for you? Do anything. What, what now? Just call. What would make a perfect date for you? Perfect date? Um, shit. Get some weed. <laughs> get a whole bunch of paint, bruh. And just paint each other. That's the perfect that fucking fun. day. But that I want to do fun. it at the waterfall. I want to paint you and you paint me at the waterfall. That's what I want to oh. do. And smoke, smoke hella weed. That's what I want to do. Okay. Now, have, you already, have you already done this day? No. With who? Brent? Okay. That's why I'm on the show. Okay. <laughs> you broke that shit down like real good. Like, no, that's what I want to do. I'm saving you. Okay. I'll fuck with that. They that they said, is that a first date? That's a first date. That's a first date. Yeah. All right, do you believe in really great love? Yes. Have you ever felt that way about somebody? Yes. Now, where are they at right now? Why are y'all not together anymore? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh, apparently, apparently uh, I, it was just love at first sight for me, so. <laughs> I think okay, that's got to be an equal thing to work. Yeah, it do got to be equal. Definitely got to be equal. All right, last question. Yeah, what, what, the, the word, what does the word love mean to you? Ooh, 
<laughs> man, love is like when your grandma wake you up in the morning, man, and got breakfast already ready for you, bro. That's love. A motherfucker that actually take the time out to to know what you want in life. You know what I'm saying? And it's on time with it. You know what I'm saying? Somebody in your corner. Like, all the time. Right or wrong. But then still tell me I'm wrong at the end. But behind closed doors. Not in front of everybody. You don't do that. Don't play me. You know what I'm saying? That's love, man. That's love right there. Love me like my grandma loves me. You feel love me? Love me how my grandma loves me. Period. <laughs> <laughs> That's some real shit, though. No, I feel it. Oh, God. Hey, the thing is with you that I already kind of got, I already kind of got a match in my head what? for you. But you said that you want to try brown skin. Nah, man. So, hey, I do love my light skin women now. I'm just saying. I, I know you think. do, but that might be why you single now. It's because you I, you fuck with the white skin. Exactly. Might need your. But I'm just saying, if you if if it come down to a light skin brick, don't. You know, go ahead. Okay. Pass it through. I got you. I got you. I got you. All right, y'all. Make some noise for Travi in the building. Make some motherfucking noise. Yes, sir. I'll make sure tomorrow, bro. All right, bro. All right. <laughs> hey, that girl said, love me how my grandma love me. That's low-key some real shit, okay? Love me how my Baby. Your grandma is your grandma. Your girlfriend is your girl. All right, my love. Like Let's go to our next. <laughs> oh, but I like her though. Yeah. I think we can find her love. We but have she faith. She cannot be looking for grandma love. She's <laughs> Asia. You in your car? I uh, just got off. Was it you one of the people in the comments talking about people being in their car? Uh, no. Now, not only are you in your car, but you are also driving. I'm listening. Are you, you going to pull over? Uh, I'm about to get off my exit in like a mile and a half. Not a mile and a half. What the hell is a mile and a half? This is dangerous, huh? Nick, I'm just listening. I'm going to get something. You do your job. No, I can't. I can't do this while you are here. It's going to be on my, it's going to be on my conscience if you, um, if something happens. So I'm going to try to get the next person and then I'm going to get you. Okay. Well, give me like 10 minutes. Okay. I got you. That girl trying to give me a fucking lawsuit. Trying to give me sued and shit. Somebody I was on live with Brick and Crash. Hell no, nah, you ain't about to do that. Who was the last person again? It was China. Oh, Lisi. Where is Alisiana? Where you at, girl? Alisiana, if you on here. Request me. Request me. <laughs> How she not on here? Uh-uh. Aliciana. Girl, what Where is she at? <laughs> Hold on, babe. I want a little butt. Girl, you you are this is not like that, okay? Don't be trying to come on. Y'all see my girlfriend trying to like regulate shit. If anybody knows who Aliciana is, Tavi, I think you know her. She is a part of uh TKO. Tell the girl to get on the motherfucking lie now. Because Ty really trying it. I'm about to tell Ty, Ty to pull over at the Chevron. <laughs> hey, send me a request, Lisey. Am I saying it right? Can you send me a request, please? Because I don't see you on here. It's not. Bree Trill, you got baggage. <laughs> send me a request. <laughs> send, me a, send me a request. Hey, Bree don't beat me up, okay? Don't beat me up, please. Lisi, am I saying your name right, baby girl? Send me a request to get on the live, okay? 40 and up. Oh, yeah. If you 40 and up, DM us. <laughs> uh, If y'all are entertained, make sure y'all don't start. If y'all are entertained, make sure y'all send that good cash out request, you know what I'm saying? I don't get no unemployment. You feel me? This is my unemployment, okay? <laughs> I love you, Bree <Brisa. laughs> You in your car, too. No, I'm here. Where are y'all going? I thought I'm, it was quarantine. I'm at the gas station. Y'all are on the move. Am I saying your name right, Lisi? It's Lexiana. Oh, Lexiana. I'm sorry. Everybody, welcome Lexiana to the show. 
Welcome, 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 welcome. Thank you so much for being a contestant on Girls Need Love Tuesdays. I got your bio up here. We're going to get into it real quick. So, name Alexiana. I never seen Alexis with a C. That's why I said. Oh, yeah. Never seen that. You're a 23. You're a 5'4. You live in Atlanta. You were born in Kingston, Jamaica. Pop, 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 pop. Your sign is a Leo. Occupation, your airport retail and CEO. You'll see real soon. Okay, period. You identify as an aggressive film. Her all day. You are looking for a woman, period. You don't do that label shit. You just want a woman, period. Okay, I understand that. And you said you are Jamaican and Cuban American. Ooh, sounds spicy. You speak two different languages when upset. Ooh, or very excited about something. You are an asshole, but very sweet at the same time. You know it's crazy. <laughs> you have 14 tattoos. You're looking for consistency. Um, like, I want to feel you want to talk to me every day to just make you feel happy or something. Someone that's goofy and lovable, not a pushover. Someone that can put you in your place. Need somebody that's freaky as fuck and know how to dress. Okay. Well, let's get on into it. First question, why are you single? Um... I'm single because I need, like, somebody that I know is stable. Because my first, my next relationship, I want it to be my last. But you're only 23. Do you really mean that? Yes, I know that. And, yes, I really mean that. Okay. And how long have you been single? Uh, a year. All right. And why didn't that work out? Um, The timing was wrong, and we just became, like, best friends afterwards. Oh, that's dope. That. You know what I mean? That's dope. Her, the timing wasn't right. What, what what was it about the timing? Like, was it long distance? Was it? Like, it was long distance. She was from Baltimore, and uh, she came to see me when I was in Atlanta. We lived together. It was too fast. Okay. So yeah. I can't. Well, I mean, distance. living with each other was good. Like, we didn't have no problems. It was just like she didn't have a good job at the time, so she felt like she couldn't give me what I needed. Okay. Yeah, I can't do long distance. You know what I'm saying? I need to touch. <laughs> My girl is acting crazy. I need to go. All right. Go. Uh, physically and mentally, describe the type of person that you would like to date. You have to be ambitious. Okay. Uh, you have yeah. to know what you want in life. You have to know how to dress. Um, that's it, really. I don't care for looks or I don't care if you're chubby. I don't care if you're too skinny. As long as you can pick me up. <laughs> okay. So don't really care about looks, okay? Just, they just got to be able to pick you up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's weird. That's that's what's up, though. You like what you like. All right. Um, What do you value most in a relationship? Consistency. Okay. Be careful with that, man. What? Consistency. Be careful with that. It sounds good in the beginning, but it's like, what are you being consistent with? You know. Yeah, consistent I mean? with what? So not even saying good or bad, but it's just like, you know. What? Like yeah. someone can start off in a relationship and they can be consistent with something, and then later on, what they're consistent with might not be what you want them to be consistent. Like with. I want them to be consistent <laughs> with their goals. I want them to be consistent with me. If they see as us going far, I want you to keep that in mind. Okay, I understand you. Right. All right. Um, how would your ex describe you? Um, she describe me as crazy and Ooh. a go getter. A crazy go getter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now what makes you crazy I'm very nurturing and I love like I, I when I say I love I really love like I don't even care if I have to speak to you forever I'll still pray about you I'll talk to my ancestors about you just to keep you going because I'll never bring you down okay are you crazy like I'll cut your strap up type crazy no my ex did that to me one time the ex cut up your strap yeah, I was in oh, a <laughs> So, okay. <laughs> That's what's up. Um, are you a uh, full lesbian? Are you bisexual? Oops, I'm a lesbian. Okay, lesbiana. Do you believe in marriage? Do you want to get married? Yes, but I have to be really sure about the marriage because we're not getting no divorce. Period. 
Are you signed? Are you getting a prenup? And well, if we go into the business together, no, I'm not getting a prenup. Okay. Because we went to a two thousand and eight business. Okay. That's I respect that. Do you have any kids? Do you want kids? I have one. She's four. She don't live with me. Do you have any kids? Do you want kids? Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah, I do. Okay. 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 Okay.
Don't let me go to sleep, man. That's love. Okay, well, I got what I need here this evening. Y'all make some noise one more time for Alexiana. <laughs> Did I say it right, Alexiana? Yes. Okay, the live about to cut off in okay. one second. All right, y'all know how that shit go. Hmm. We back, right? I can't stand Instagram. Bugs. <laughs> right when it was getting good. Well, at least we finished off. That was Alexiana. We only have one more contestant. Make sure y'all send me a little tippy tip, all right? Send me a little tip. Y'all was entertained tonight. I'm waiting till everybody join back. I'm sorry about that. It cuts off at an hour. I'm trying to, like, get it down to an hour. I guess I'm going to have to eliminate some questions. Who is CCUSA? Because CCUSA been going crazy in the comments. Is that a spam page? I think she came with Trabby. Trabby be having some weird ass followers, man. Rika Rolly, uh, you using a restroom. Ty, let us see you on the toilet. <laughs> Block CC. For real? What they do? Oh, Block. Everybody saying Block them. Damn, CC. Who is CC USA? What's she saying? What they say? I'm oh, about to go wait, live wait, with them. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Look, I'm about to do this. Oh, we got to tell CCUSA to get on live with us. Get on live with us, CCUSA. Mm -hmm. If you real, pick up the phone. They got to be replaced. I'm trying to get them to go live with us. Are you going to pick up CCUSA? Y'all got a lot of followers. Everybody saying block. <laughs> oh, wait. What's up? Hello? CC USA? Are you a kid? Who's gonna be saying that? She got 2,000 followers. How'd she get that? <laughs> Yo, that's weird. What she was doing, y'all? Honestly, I like a little kid, man. All right, she's blocked, y'all. I don't know what happened. I was trying to pay attention. Between the comments. <laughs> Between the comments and the people and, and now Brandy, I can't pay attention to all this shit, right? What do you mean Brandy? Brandy didn't do that for you? I can't multitask. I got ADHD. What do I got to do with me? All right. Anyway, we out. Right. They're black, guys. We have one last person. Ty Asia. Are you ready? I got a for a government name. I like Oop. That. I did. Hey, Naya. We miss you, baby girl. I got one more person. Ty, are you ready? Talk about you on the toilet. A blue bloop. A blue bloop. Ty, send me a request. Neil. For this Taco Tuesday. Y'all know what the fuck going on. And I'm ready to eat tacos. Period. You want over here finding everybody. If y'all want to sign up for the show, make sure y'all DM the page in the comments on the pinned comment at Girls Need Love Tuesdays. I need some film, some stamp. You was on the toilet, now you in the car? Come on, Scrappy Dude. Hello? You got Wi-Fi? I just turned it off. All right, there we go. Wait, you use the bathroom and you hop back in the car? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, blue, blue. All right, we got Ty on the motherfucking phone right now. Make some noise. All right. Girl, you so... Ugh. All right, we got Ty in the building. Y'all got your bio up here. We're going to go over your bio real quick. And then we're going to get into some questions, okay? So your name is Ty, clearly, obviously. You are 23. You are 5'3". You live in uh, Latonia, Georgia. You're from New York. You are a Libra. You put your birthday October 14th. You funny as hell. Occupation, Amazon driver, actress, business entrepreneur. What do you identify as a lesbian, period? We don't do that label shit. As far as what you're looking for, you're looking for a film. You said, I'm real laid back and funny. Love to have fun and experience new things and places. I love art. I love spontaneous adventures and good food. I just want my lover and best friend, someone that loves me correctly and consistently, someone I'm comfortable with and can talk to uh, talk to you about anything. That's it. That's a very That's cute it. bio. Okay. Thank you. Very I'm going to 
I was gonna put it on like my POF or like. <laughs> I think I saw you copy that from your POF. I think I saw you copy and paste that word for word. Probably. Okay. Okay. Well, let's get into the questions. All right. So first, I like to ask everybody. First one is why are you single? Um, I've been single for about three years. Um, single because the last girl was a liar and a cheater. Um, I've been single for three years just because it's like nobody has matched my energy. Like once I once I like you, I like you. So it's like it's hard for somebody to it's hard for me to really find somebody that likes me for me. Okay. And that's gonna accept my, you know, my flaws, you know, not perfect. So, you know, just accept me for me. Okay. I respect that. And you said it's been three years and it did not work out because she was a liar and a cheater. Mm-hmm. Now, on your part, what made you make her um, say, no, I'm playing. But on your part, <laughs> what would you say that you could have done better as a partner? Um, Honestly, I just felt like she was trying to rush my growth. Like... If I'm lacking something, don't belittle me and don't find somebody else that got what I don't have. Like, teach it to me. Okay. Help me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody's perfect. Okay. I respect that. That's a very transparent answer. All right. Now, physically and mentally, describe the type of person that you would like to date. Physically, Shorty got to be thick. Okay. Fuck that. She got to goddamn. You know what I'm saying? She got to have it all. You know what I'm saying? But. I'm a, you know, uh, what was the other one you said? Physically? Physically and mentally. Mm-hmm. Mentally, um, we gotta have, like, like, similar goals. Like, similar goals, um, really have to be mature mentally. Like, even though I'm childish, I play a lot, but I have a time and a, a place. So, it's like, are you a partner for real? Like, will we be able to get property and know how to maintain it and whatnot like okay that's me you trying to build a uh dream team okay yeah basically how oh that's I- your page oh my bad i didn't mean to read that damn that girl got another page all right um <laughs> we are fed up also we um so how would your ex describe you we asked your ex we heard what you had to say about her but if we asked your ex about you what would your ex say <laughs> that bitch would probably say it was my fault. <laughs> that was a good question. Oh, that bitch would probably she was she'll probably lie and say it was all about me. Um, she'll say I was probably either selfish, um, because she's told me that before that I'm selfish. So I would say that she'll say I'm selfish. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna ask your ex. I know your ex. So I'm gonna talk to her. Yeah. Um. I'm- I'm joking. Describe yourself in one word. Um, outgoing. Outgoing. Mm-hmm. Outgoing. Oh, outgoing. Okay. It's a lot going on in the comments. I cannot keep up. Um, you're clearly lesbian, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you believe in marriage, and do you want to get married? Um, do I believe in marriage? Yes, I do believe in marriage, but I would only want to get married once because I'm not an ex-wife. I'm a widow, so it's like, <laughs> bitch, you stuck with me forever. Oh, especially, especially if we had, if we done so much, maybe who you about to start over with? Who I'm okay. about to start over with? Okay. Mm mm. So one and only. I feel you on that one. You nigga said, I'm a widow, not an ex-wife. I'm so dead. I ain't never heard that one. Um, do you have kids? Do you want kids? Um, I don't have kids. I want kids. Uh, I want to have it on myself. Like, you know, I want to carry myself because, of course, like, Tra- like Travis said, I want, you know, my blood genes to keep on going. I'm just scared. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> <I'm just scared. laughs> Uh, is sex important in a relationship? It's not important, but bitch, when I'm ready, I'm ready, and I need okay. you to be ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we... Now, I'll be seeing you on social media. there will be a lot of sex, 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 sex. So, we just horny. It's just not that it's important. It's just that we're very horny at this point. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, and then sometimes I could just relate to what it's saying, so... That's that too. 
Very horny, written down. Okay. Uh, have you ever cheated? Um, in my adolescence days. Okay. Not not as an you know adult, a grown adult. No. So you have you received? How you feel, do you feel like you received your coming from when you cheated back in the day? Hell yeah, I've been single for all this time. So I feel like that's my karma. It's been in her karma, okay? The karma ain't no hoe now. What we learn. All right, yes. so uh, which of your personality traits, if any, would you change if you had to choose? I say I could be stubborn. I do have a bad attitude if I don't get my way. So I will say my little bratty attitude sometimes. Yes, you can be a little brat. It's so cute. Little scrappy do. Um, what do you do in your free time? Um, chill with you. Be be with you. Um, I try to brainstorm on my future, so I try to write out like my five to ten year long term goals. Um, I work on my brand, going over scripts. Just you know, trying to maintain life. Okay. Okay, going over scripts. Tell me, you're an actress. You do this shit. Mm -mm. <laughs> All right. Uh, you. So I know you. You drink and you smoke. Right, is your partner allowed to drink and smoke? Mhm. Mm okay. Yeah. I hate getting high by myself. And it's like, how are we supposed to have drunk sex and you not drunk? Right. <laughs> what, what about cigarettes, though? Hell no. Okay. <laughs> don't, don't bring that. You better smoke right now. <laughs> uh, what are some of your pet peeves besides like liars? Um, I hate a female that stinks. Like, we're women, so that hygiene shit should be at tea. Like, you know, I have deodorant in my car. I have oil in my car. And any time that I feel like I've been sweating too much, then I'll freshen up myself. Yeah. But, um, oh, number one, <laughs> a person, a person that does not have work ethics, like good work ethics, that have that drive, that ambition, um, there's just that hustler mindset that you can make, you know, nothing out of something. Right. Okay. You better know what you want. You kind of real, you know what the fuck going on. That's it's, been three, like, it's been three years. Okay. <laughs> See, I know the fuck I want. I wrote it down twice, all right? Uh, what's one of your biggest goals in life that you want to accomplish? Um, it's just overall just being successful, like okay. successful, you know, spiritual wise, mentally, emotionally, physically, get my body together, get my, you know, my peace of mind back together, um, control my emotions about things that I can't change because I tend to really uh, feel some type of way about things that I can't change. Um, and like just, get, just get closer to God, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like I pray, I pray every day and whatnot, but I do want to start well, we trying to go back to church. What well, we learn, okay, when it opens. <laughs> Sorry, I'm working. Yeah, you are. Go ahead. What's your favorite movie? Favorite movie of all times, I would say Baby Boy. Okay, Jody. <laughs> <laughs> That's my shit. I can recite everything. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait. What's your favorite kind of music? Um, I'm really. Uh, old head, so it's like I really like listening to other music, like old school music, like Maxwell, like Nina Simone, like any type of genre move. I mean, music or not. Okay, old school, the old school heart. <laughs> All right, do you? Uh, what would constitute as a perfect date for you? Anything that has to do with being um, in the nature. Like I hate the movies. Movies make me fall asleep. Huh? I said, I would say, like, be anything in nature. Okay. Like, just a walk Stuff in the park. Doing. Yeah, anything. Going to the park. You do love being outdoors. I will say that about my little son, son. Mm -hmm. Do you believe in love at first sight? No, I don't. No love at first sight. All right, last question. What does, seriously, my audience is just, my guest is just, Shut up, my bad. She done made the phone go a backflip. All right, so you said no to love at first sight. All right, now the last question What does love mean to you? Compromising. Okay. Compromising. What people, what a lot of people 
Bag, get the call. Hold on, hold on, this ghetto, this ghetto as fuck. Hold on, this ghetto fuck. Bag, get the call off the stove. All right, go ahead. I ain't gonna cut y'all. What does love mean to me? Um, love mean to me is compromising. Like, I understand everybody has their ways on how to do things, whatnot. But if we're supposed to be a team, it's supposed to be a partnership, then you have to at least kind of tweak things and compromise just for it to work. Because I know that I may have a way of thinking. You may have a way of thinking. But if we can all just come together and put our minds on the same page, then it will work. So it's all with compromising. Okay. Well, I'm feeling your answer, son, son. I'm going to really try to find you somebody, too. I think I got somebody in mind. nobody. I think I got somebody in mind, but... Oh, let me ask the last question, because everybody always got something to say. Once I match them, but in the beginning, they'd be like, I don't have a type, I don't have this, I don't have that. So anything specifically you, you don't like, you know, like, that it's like anything you want to specifically point out that you're looking for, she got to be shorter than you, she can't be taller, she can't be da 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 anything specifically. Mm. It gotta be that personality, like, okay. cause I I don't I didn't dealt you know people that's like lower than my standards. I didn't deal with them, but it's because they had a dope personality. Yeah. Where it's like, okay, you kept me laughing, or you was a good listener, or something like that. But yeah, you just gotta have like a dope personality. Okay. All right. Well, everybody makes noise one time for Ty on the show. Uh, we will follow up with you. I'm gonna follow up with you tomorrow, okay? Bet, bet, bet. Enjoy bet, your bet. night. All right. All right. Woo! Now I don't know what the hell is going on in this comments. Who is CC? Why she got another page? Woo! All right, so this is what we're about to do. We about to um, I'm gonna do something a little bit different this time, okay? Because this is harder than it seems, like staying in, in contact with people and staying consistent. This shit is harder than it seems. So tonight, I'm going to post everybody that went on the show tonight, okay? If you are interested in these people, uh, DM us on at Girls Need Love Tuesdays. If you want to sign up, go to at Girls Need Love Tuesdays. If you want to tip me, you can tip me at that cash out right there in the comments. Boss Brit 513. You can send a dollar, two dollars. It's nothing like, you know, I need 20 bucks or anything. But if you want to send 20 bucks, I'm all for it. You know what I'm saying? Send a little something, something. CC, do you want to go live because you into a ASMR? Like, y'all arguing in the comments. Like, what's going on? Like, you a tip? Huh? All right. Um, I think I'm about to head out, man. But y'all make sure y'all come see us next Tuesday. I don't know what's going on with CC. But, uh, Tip again, but I don't give a fuck. We're gonna have some new shorties next week. Make sure y'all follow the page at Girls Need Love Tuesdays. Y'all have a great night. Somebody go slide into CC DMs. Hey, Buck, I think that's your one right there. <laughs>